Hey guys, this is Madhu Bad John from MJC Designs. Welcome to today's video tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you my workflow on how I created this um, magnificent entrance gate. It's an entrance gate for um, a hall that I did for an architect. So I'm going to show you the workflow of how I created this. Now let's get started. So first off, we're going to draw the, um, the plan layout. Let's take a measurement of This is where it all starts, like so, and this is um, from here to here is 4,000, good, and here is uh, one, so basically this basically this is um, 3,600 and 4,000 for the car entrance. So we are going to start with the slab. Let's draw the slab. The main entrance, draw the slab like so. Uh, we can make it 6,000 or 5,000 by 600 okay so this slab right here let's select one of these material change it to one of this material and change the height to whatever like 6000 okay all right so let's put a platform for it mesh this yes, we are going to use it later this is the profile for that that cone that cone looking stuff Trying to remove the overfill and the the grass is okay. Let's see what we have. Just press F2 on your keyboard. Okay. Use your slab again and you create this distance. But before then, let's make sure to have the proper distance. We have um, from here to the first one is a uh, one five. Let's do one five. Second one is uh, four thousand. The gatehouse itself is three six. No, oh. the the walkway is nine hundred. The gate house itself is 3,600. And another walkway, 900. And the, the road itself, entrance, 4,000. And then we are going to give an allowance of, like, let's say, 25 or 2,000 for the end. Good. So that means we are taking our slab all down to this place. Okay. Okay. So this this right here is what again five thousand. We can make it six. Just add one one more. 1000 to it. Okay. So I'm going to stagger this so that I will know okay, that's fine. So they will take this angle like so. All right. And Make sure to create 
that effect we saw there. We are going to be checking it from time to time to see if we know if we are actually doing the right thing. So offset this by 600. Take it out by right. when you click, then you just pull down your space and the magic wand will just click it and it will cut. Okay, so let's see our 3D. Okay, so the height is supposed to be um, 350, and this also supposed to be. Not supposed to be 350, but maybe 300 or there about or 250. Good. Okay. So the height, I'm not sure. Let me check the other one. This height is is four okay and let's check the distance to be sure from here to here wow eight thousand as a lot okay so we'll just extend this by eight thousand to, to make it eight thousand just use your marquee what well, i've done how to stretch before take this particular this particular place just hold down your so we have to stretch this part by three thousand to make it around eight thousand okay so we have to stretch this particular part by three thousand okay let's use your marquee select where you want to stretch and control h shift by 3000 and that's fine all right so you can still extend this angle okay so this was supposed to be six six four okay Okay. Let's try to change this to black. So it look, looks more presentable. So we have to create the curves, but before that, let's try to use our slab for it. Okay. So like so, extend it to this part. Send it to this part. Good. Okay, so going down, bring it down. So make it one fifty. Okay, so. This is minus, take it to zero. Okay, so bring this up a bit. So one fifty. And always change this the proper material like so.
can always change this to something else. Okay. So let's start creating using our profile to create, go to option, complex profile, profile manager, and let's quit. Let's give it caps. Okay. And then you use your fill tool to create something. A dimension should be around, um, I prefer to use um, 75 by the height um, 150. Okay, so we just far by something lesser 30 yeah about okay so you can always curve this a little bit we fill it with five take this a little bit down and make fillet of it five that's fine okay so this place you might actually want to make a fillet of it let's say two now that's fine so change the material variety Concrete, okay, then you save. By now we should be getting used to our profile, okay, and then curves, then you pick the point you want to draw and draw. Like so. You can see looking good. I think this this was actually like this. Yeah, from correct it was actually like this. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to take um, maybe a line or something, maybe a few to get this particular measurement. Let's check that part again. Let's check what was done there. Okay. 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 Okay, so that means this was actually ending here. Same with this. Okay, so we are going to use complex profile again, but before then, get the measurement from here. So, yeah, I want to use a faster method to get this particular operation. Okay, get the measurement from here to here. Okay, so we we just got a measurement from this point to this point, right? 
that's what we are going to be using and um, then the height of this particular stuff here from here this is a uh, six four okay so i'm taking this this way rotate it okay and then take this one this way You can actually use slab to do it, but the purpose of using complex profile, you, you definitely see it. Then I'm actually going to get the actual measurement. Okay. Now this is it. Then so let's take the at the proper thickness. Should be around one fifty. Should be around one fifty or two hundred. There about. This is two hundred. Let's leave it at that. Or let's check. Hundred. Wow. So 100, same thing goes. Just take three, nine, three. So it's 100. Okay, so this right here, I'm going to copy it and take it to complex money, um, profile and profile manager, edit. Let's give it new. Um, what do we call it? What do we call it? Just call it rope something. Let's call it a name. Okay, and and then you paste. Make sure you take it to this particular um, dot right here. Okay, so then we have it and we can change the material to what we want. Okay, let's use gray. So activate your wall. I don't think we need to use, just activate your wall first then save. Okay, so go out there, take your wall. It's already in complex profile, and change the change to rope, and there you go. Okay, so we are going to start from here. We are going to start from here and take it out by. 150. Okay, now let's see what we have. So we are going to take it, start from here. Okay. Material is supposed to be showing. Let's change the material. Okay. Gray. It's fine. Let me change this one to gray also. Let 
Vừa mới Ok so I can always change the outline Something darker Okay, so then we have to multiply spread by since that is 150 plus 150 or is 350 for this spread. Good. So you can see what we have. You can see what we have here. So we are, we are, we are going to cut it. Okay. We we'll just cut it. It's faster, right? Faster to produce something like this. Faster. So we are still going to use slab to you know come up with this particular one. All right, and. Okay. Let's mirror. Okay. So let's see. Oh, that is love right there. Let's give it his um same color and Four six six four. Okay, so that's fine. Now, what we are going to do here is we are going to wait for a moment to we'll do that um, other one. All right? I, I I'm guessing that we need to actually do this first this right here it's taking a lot you can see this it's like it's taking a lot of space okay that's it right there it's taking a lot of space okay so the curve right but will be within this line so we are going to also do that before i cut it So we have the profile already has been created already right what we did was just to use the fill tool i'm going to trace on it that's the right that is the measurement the height okay and we just traced just you can cut here first for instance Right, and do this, do this, then you can start uh, taking the node like so, taking the node angle before you, you get your, your curve, right, like so. So you have successfully created something like this. Okay. So what we're going to do is go ahead and copy any of any of these uh, few. Just copy one. Take it to our my, um, complex profile. Okay. Um, we create. Give it a name. Whatever pull. Let's give it pull. Okay, and paste it right here. Okay, so make sure you have the 
edge right at uh, this point activates the beam we are going to use beam the essence of using beam is that if we use wall they are going to be connecting and they are going to be connecting the way the way wall behaves is different from how beam behaves so we are going to use beam for this operation so i'm going to activate the beam and just leave out the wall like that so that's that just give it color something something like what we have okay and let's use this for instance let's save and close okay so, so i'm going to draw a line so that you know the boundary okay we are definitely going to draw a cycle uh let's say 700 okay so just um the radius 350 okay so that the diameter will be 700 yeah so that's it we can pick the center at which we want it to be now we have we have gotten the particular this particular center but we have not gotten this area here so let's place this this pole first before we start doing all the adjustment so go to your beam and um, select your beam i'm going to use this the beam complex profile select this and go to change it to complex profile then you go to custom and you see the pole we created as it right there okay and we have to start it from the middle okay take it by um 25 yeah that's the thickness okay so take the middle and place it at the right point and shift it to this cycle right here okay so we are going to rotate this shape right here around this cycle right here okay so you pick the edge right there so that the pet palette will appear and select this multiply select this rotate and um, click distribute we are using 40 40 42 copies of it and then click pick up before impute and make sure this is activated rotate to part okay and then you say okay then you 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 use your cursor and um, just select the the arc okay now it will it will it will start from the middle and then make sure you drag it to this point make sure you straight like so and just click and try to rotate around the axis okay and that's that's fine so you you can actually know where it will end like this you can see when you when you see this is looking even okay so you can drop it but we want we want it to touch itself we don't want any space i'm going to show you 3d what it looks like okay we actually don't want space we want it to touch itself okay this is what it looks like let's see the other one the thickness of the other one it's not, the thickness is okay you can see it doesn't have space okay um I'm taking the measurement oh oh the diameter is the diameter is 170 that means our diameter is quite big but it's okay we can always reduce it so i have to delete okay and try to reduce our diameter or create another upper cycle 200 is fine i'm making it 100 and take taking the diameter like that okay so delete this and start over again by clicking
Okay, so we pick this point again and go back to our spread, you know, rotate, distribute, pick, act before input, the number 42 might be more, okay, and rotate to part, then you say, okay. Make sure you select your arc so it will, it will pick from the center from the point and then you will take like so. Okay, as you can see, it's balanced now. So we can always drop it right there and that's it. As you can see, there's no, there's no space. Looking all fine, and so this is what we are talking about. I was talking about where this this here has to be more than that, right? So we have to shift it a bit. I would have loved to extend it, but just shift it by 3750 so 3750 okay, this okay now there is an issue, right? As you can see, since it has been extended and we have um, this rim still remaining, I think we have to adjust our from here to here is about one nine, right? One nine there about. Okay, so we have to adjust this particular profile, right? Select it, go to edit and. Add like two 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 thousand to it. Okay, so that's fine. Or more than that. Let's add six hundred to it. So that you extend. Save. So this is this is this is why it's good to use profile because I haven't extended one. Everything just adjusts itself. If not. We we'll have to be doing them one by one by one, one by one. So I'm going to show you why I actually use this. I'm going to cut it right here. But before I do, I have to select everything. Right, I have to select it. Select it. Okay. Now. I haven't selected, we have to convert it to we actually have to convert it to morph. So that is the only way we can cut this cut it. Okay, we convert to morph like that. It, it's if you convert to mod, you can't edit again. So you have to be sure of this measurement that this is okay, this is what you want to do, you're not adjusting again, except you are going to redraw everything. But we have already done the the complex profile, which is okay because we can always use the complex profile to create this again. But if you convert to morph, you can go back. So convert to morph. Okay, this is converted to morph and we have to come union it so that it will be an entity so that we can cut it as one entity. Okay, so it's now, it's now an entity, even if you, you can see it's now an entity, okay? Even if it's on suspend. So we are going to go to our plan. And um, maybe go to second floor. Should be showing, there's not showing, okay. If it is not showing, no problem. So we can make it show, click it. That's it right there. And record with this. Okay, so let's record. Like so, huh? just select the part you want to cut away.
is not cutting just do this okay i think it's it has caught as you can see so we had to unsuspend before we can cut okay so it has this is out now we have a proper cut you can if you remove this you see how lovely it is just raise it up a bit by let me increase this to 900 that's it right there so it looks so fine you you can imagine doing this one by one it's time wasting okay so that's just the essence of doing that we haven't done this and our gate is looking good all we have left is creating this one here which is what most of us can do right the main purpose of this tutorial is at this particular and this okay so we have to create the gatehouse okay so that's like we're getting close to the end of this tutorial right so let's extend it this is works right So sometimes if you don't want to go through the stress of trying to trace all this again, you can just use a magic wand to select this and hold down your space right like this. Just click. That's it right there. Click the one that was there before. Delete the one that was there before. Okay. Same thing here. Move this a bit and add the curve. We can do the same. Just select our curve and do the same thing. When you select the curve, this is activated, right? The wall is activated which is we will we, we use wall as a complex profile so you just select the hold down your space bar and select that shape it will take the shape okay as simple as that so you can always delete the old one yeah that's it you can just mirror this particular one like so okay so So we use our wall, we activate this um, complex, make sure, make it a regular wall, basic wall, two to five, and then um, the height should be around 3,600, and that's, that's okay for now. Okay, and change it to white. Let's just draw one wall. Yes. Okay, so I want to check the height. It's quite tall. So, go from here to here and check. Okay, it's 5,100 and something. It means um, we just tall, just to give it, just to make it fit 
this entrance, right? So we are going to do the same. So five two and that's it. Just make a square. Change this to a square like this. Just make a square like this. Okay. Good. And suspend so and increase this part to this point. Place our door. Also use a random door like so. Okay. Get our window. Let's place the window first. So we'll decide what to do with it. Um, one, two, width. Add one more. Same with this. We want to change the outlines to We can actually use a different type of window, big, bigger window to avoid all this um, stress. Okay, uh, I think there is a, but let's just continue what we are doing. I need to fix for now. I can always do that later. I want to remove this opening line. And let's make it 1800. Okay, 600 height. Oh, 900. And that's fine. Let's 
so we have to make this a corner glass okay corner glass and since this is the only window here just select all the window and change the millions to black Okay, um, black. Add um, evil to it. Okay, uh, that's fine. When you add evil to it, you have to fit the corner differently. So Take this down here. Take this down here. As you can see, this is what we have at the corner, so it has to be adjusted. Go to the settings. Go to corner, custom corner. Select this. We are not sure if. This is the corner, but we'll just select one corner for so now. You can see we selected the wrong corner, so we go back and select the second corner. Okay, so we shift it back. So. Okay, same thing here. I'm not sure which corner we'll just pick one for now oh pick the second one then shift it down. okay so we do the same thing here. I don't know which corner we're picking. So let's pick one. One corner. And take it down. Same thing here. Okay, now this is fine the corners are okay we can even make it a frameless um frameless corners but that's not what we want so we can just have to use our slab and create that stuff right there or wall whichever will look good see how wall behaves i'm very sure beam does not behave that way but that's not withstanding okay um we are going to offset it select everything and offset a little bit or you switch the face and then take it out okay. it by We intend to use 200 for the thickness, offset by 200 for now. And go back to the settings of this. And let's say it's 150. Change the material. 
Okay, so here is one fifty eight. Take it back to fifty. Okay, so that's it. All you do is just reduce the thickness, the height. So we can accommodate, we can have that effect, right? Just like so. Take it down. Let's take it down here. Okay, we have to break this. Create the node. Okay, we have successfully open it and then just adjust. From here, we can always erase this off a bit. Oh, sorry. Okay. Was let you to pull the corners right around. Just use a slab. Okay. Take that slab. Take it out a bit. Maybe by. 75, change the thickness, thickness about 100. Thickness about 100. Change it to white. Make sure this is changed to the outlines. Yeah? Next, it looks presentable. Not taking off 150. Now there's an issue we have to how to delete this how to how to remove the hole here yeah so that it doesn't cover everything no well, i think this is this is the proper height i'll remove this one i'll start with this one take it down okay i'll start with this one instead this one I'll start with this, okay? I'll select this in the floor plan. I'll activate this and hold down my space. So I'm trying to create a hole. So I've created a hole, so that's the one that is broken. Take it back. You can now offset it to the Ultra out, out of the wall, so that's it right there. Uh, 
copying this down to this point. Okay. So, of course, we know we are supposed to put this place, right? So, select it on your plan and cut it. Subtract. So this is pretty much how to create this magnificent entrance. Okay. Okay. So that's it right there. I'll show you the other one. That's it right there. So we just added the fence, added the fence like so. And this right here to speed breaker, right? We use the um, profile to create this. It's very simple. Use our profile to create this. You can see, let's select and try to edit. So that's the profile right there. Okay, that's the profile. So. This is how the profile should be like this. So when you, I'll just copy this, or I'll just copy, copy this one and try to implement it in the new one, right? And I see if I can copy this. I don't know if the object will appear in the new one. So I will just copy this from the old one, and go to a new one and see if it would show. I'm, I'm very sure the complex will show, complex profile will show, but I'm not sure about, as you can see, the object is not showing because we have not loaded it. So there's no, that's, we'll do that some other time. But this is the complex profile, right? So, um, make a copy of it. So, either it's down or up. Um, so, I'm going to make a show select in PD the material we used, I think it's an, it's an imported material. So we're going to change it. And see, it's an imported material. Let's use this one, save it. Okay, so I think because we are using this marquee, let's do the marquee again. Okay. So that's pretty much how to do this. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.